Tyler Oliveira versus Twitter. Oh, Twitter is coming out to get him. And then he just posted a sick photo of us. Like, I don't understand what's going on here. Like, is he, is he trying to make us look good? What's happening? Oh my God. Boy boy is just like absolutely destroying Tyler Oliveira. Tyler has been tweeting a lot. Yeah. In Hassan's latest stream, he attempts to convince his audience that I'm worse than the Nazis for interviewing homeless people. You can't make this up. Let's not give that freak any more attention. Chat will be like, hey guys, don't give this freak attention. And that freak has like 60 million views videos. <laughs> Thanks, chat. Yeah, I guess I won't give this freak attention. He'll just go away. Yeah, dude. Guy with like 35 million subscribers. He's like shitting out gold buttons every goddamn day of his life and there's random chatters in here who are like no he's a random don't do it it's like bro this ain't a sweaty drama farmer in a goddamn basement trying to make a banger video for once with his like 75k subscriber youtube account okay this is like a massive content creator on youtube red pilled ass motherfucker suck my dick tyler Oliveira, a scourge on youtube yeah, he already has clout. Yeah, it's just like people being like, stop platforming Donald Trump. Stop platforming the Super Bowl. Stop platforming Kendrick Lamar. Not worth your mental health. No, it's fine. He doesn't have any fans. He just has fans of like, he doesn't have, Tyler Oliveira is like a vehicle for right-wing commentary. The point is, he he's not like, he doesn't, nobody's like, oh man, I really love Tyler Oliveira. They just love the, I, like the video. And the, and the ideas that he is channeling through his videos. That's it. His Twitter presence is non-existent, though. They ratio that boy boy giving him his wild six. He likes to every hundred uh, tweet. Yeah, I know. All right. Oh, yeah. Uh, one of the one of the Hassan Abi has actually did a pretty solid thread. Creative director for Blastoise. Editor for The Veil official Alex Naivety uh, did a pretty solid thread. I saw uh, we're going to look through that as well. The goat. Thank you for this. We'll we'll, we'll also look at that. We'll also look at the Tyler Olivera shit in a little bit. Not yet. A few moments later. People arguing it's Hassan Abi's fault for current internet community issues over Tyler and Boy Boy's Twitter. Wait, what? It's my fault? How? Who's making this argument? What do you even mean? It is pretty funny because, like, I was locked out of my account for approximately 12, more than 12 hours. This is your... Bro, this has no likes. You're so f***ing stupid. God damn, bro. You are so dumb, dude. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Please dial it back. Holy moly. Why am I eating the bait right now? Bro, reposting his own tweet in the chat being like, many people are saying you're at fault, even though you were locked out of your, locked out of your account. Yeah. Meanwhile, boy, boy, Alex and Alexa went to North Korea before they ever met me. You know that, right? Like they... We became friends because we are like-minded individuals and I love them and they're my friends and I, they're awesome. Oh, um, this was awesome. So Tyler Oliveira and boy, boy got into a bit of a Twitter spat because boy, boy, AKA Alex can't stop himself from posting on Twitter. I mean, he is more brain broken than I am. Or I said, Alex, Alexa, sorry. Um, I like the chatters are correcting me. Telling the truth is crazy in a world full of lies. I researched Tyler Oliveira a few months ago, and I think his content needs much more extension coverage from Boy Boy and Hassan the Hun. I can only describe the guys. Hello? Kaya? Place? Get your ass on that bed. Hmm. That's crazy. It's still ongoing. Oh, wow. He's still posting through it. Telling the truth is crazy in a world full of lies, he said to the uh, Twitter thread that we were going to look at. Almost as deep as when you comment to the same platitude on my YouTube video. You're a real poet. <laughs> Telling the truth is crazy in a world full of lies. Yesterday's history. Tomorrow's a mystery, but today's a gift. That's why it's called the present. Kung Fu Panda. But yeah, uh, Tyler Oliveira, for those of you who don't know, uh, used to do like Mr. B style videos as he's showing here. And then like basically turned heel and started doing Mr. Beast type videos. If Mr. Beast was like brain broken and a in the psychopathic right-wing reactionary and uh that's all he's been pumping out 
One of the top comments on your video with over 3,000 likes is people who genuinely believe I flew back to Seattle 12 days later to burn a random building down where a homeless man was squatting in a five second clip in my 53 minute video. Do you not understand the propane tanks burn down homeless camps all the time? Your audience is mentally ill. You encourage, you encourage your foster's insanity. It's got likes because it's funny. My subscribers are calling out that commenter in the, in the 63 replies law, but I am concerned that you think my audience is mentally ill though. Those are the kinds of people you ambush and film pooping for views. Stay away from them. Stay away from my mentally ill audience. <laughs> yeah, do not film my chatters pooping, Tyler. He tweeted about you comparing him to Nazis. And I think that those two dipshits are somehow more, somehow worse. Why? Because under normal circumstances, things like ethnic cleansing, right? That's actually processed through the division of labor. That's actually legalized in certain aspects of it. You know what I mean? There's like a structure to it. There's a design to it. There's a need for that design. It's the same need uh, that requires in military prisons and whatnot that, that uh, the execution squad doesn't know who has actual bullets in their guns versus who has blanks. Yes, you're correct, Chatter. It is a diffusion of responsibility that needs to happen. There's a compartmentalization that needs to occur in the regular, everyday, evil activities that those who are simply doing a job participate in. And then there are other guys who say, no, I'll take matters into my own hands. And to me, I feel like just looking at so much of that pain and destruction and trauma and personally putting a camera to it and massaging the narrative in the most indecent ways possible, to me, that is like genuine evil, right? Like it goes beyond a person just following orders. And as we know through the Nuremberg trials that simply just following orders is not going to, you know, take away your moral culpability. But this goes beyond that, okay? This is the, the, um, the dude in zone of interest who operated Auschwitz, who has a personal stake in the matter. He wants to do it. Yeah, Rudolf Huss or Hess or however you say his name. Like a dude who genuinely loves his job and is like taking extra interest in all of the different aspects of it. Doesn't care about the uh, compartmentalization that helps him sleep at night. Yeah, I don't think he understood the point I was making. I didn't compare him to all Nazis. I compared him to... I compared his behavior to the Nazis who personally were invested in doing awful shit. So I didn't just compare him to Nazis. I compared him to the worst kind of Nazi. You know, the guy who isn't just like taking advantage of the division of labor under a veil of ignorance, who is still morally culpable in the violence, but instead the guy who takes matters into his own hands. Okay. Who's like, oh yeah, I like this. I'm going to put a f do this thing. I'm going to take matters in my own hands. Tyler Oliveira versus Twitter. Oh, Twitter is coming out to get him. And then he just posted a sick photo of us. Like, I don't understand what's going on here. Like, is he, is he trying to make us look good? What's happening? He's pressing the gas button. Anyway, what else would happen? The next three, the, this one was the best one though. Like, who is he kidding with this? How is this insanely racist content even allowed on YouTube? What do you mean? Of course. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. <laughs> Have you already reported these videos? Anyway, this was the best part because he's so f***ing oblivious to what he's saying. The next three top performing videos on my channel are literally Mr. Beast clone vids. Lol. Boy Boy Official just needed to DM me if he needed YouTube advice. I stand corrected. It's good to know you're exploiting homeless people for passion, not just for money. <laughs> he's like, you don't understand, dude. I despise homeless people so much. You don't get it. <laughs> I'm doing it for the love of the game, baby. But yeah, explain it first amendment to an Australian. I don't know what the was happening here is too long not gonna read all that i'm not saying you're a criminal i'm saying you're soulless i may not have barged into homeless people's tents and interrogated them for views like you did but i have volunteered at street kitchens none of the people i talked to said that the fire was very clearly a joke lol